a mix of the weird and the wonderful, the beautiful, the bizarre. One of Christie's auction houses in London currently resembles an old curiosity shop. On display, among other things, the fossilised skull of a Triceratops dinosaur, the turbine fans of a Rolls-Royce plane engine, a huge robot that thrilled London crowds in the 1950s. You're looking at a one-off collection of incredible pieces that are either visually striking or they have a great story behind them, many of which have never been seen at auction before. Charlotte is one of a team of 10 specialists who put it all together, sourcing these peculiar objects from both across the world and slightly nearer to home. What we have here is a piece of royal memorabilia with a difference. In this box is a slice of wedding cake. But it's not from William and Kate's wedding. It's not even from Charles and Diana's wedding. This is from Queen Elizabeth and Philip's wedding in 1947, which makes this piece of cake 66 years old. This is an incredibly diverse collection, isn't it, Charlotte? It, it, it is, as you can see, <laughs> there's something for everybody. Uh, and do you have a favorite? What's, what's your choice um, piece? Here? It's very difficult to choose. I like lots of things for different reasons, but I particularly love the ornithopter, which we have suspended from the, from the rafters. Um, it was a film prop but it's much more than a film prop to me for the young Sherlock Holmes film which was made by Steven Spielberg in 1985 um, and the specs from the film company were that it did actually have to look like a Victorian piece of invention and work. But it doesn't fly. Well, you could try. <laughs> <laughs> I declined the offer mainly on the grounds of possible damage to an item Christie's are hoping will fetch up to $125,000. These items are all for sale, of course, and if you're someone with a taste for the unusual and you've got the cash, on the 5th of September, they could be yours. Or maybe you just want to eat a very expensive, very stale slice of cake. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, London.